In the Beatles, you were closest to John Lennon. That's, you know. Well, it depends on the day. Yeah. You know, George was my great friend and Paul was my friend. We it sh- went round, actually. <clears throat> you know, we shared a room. We only ever had two rooms while we were touring. I know. And we, we all slept with each other, not literally. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, but 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 uh, I would think in those early days, sharing rooms together, those were the days that you look back on and go, that was fantastic. We were a very close band. We only had ever had one limousine to take us around. Yeah. We didn't have our own. You know, a lot of English bands started doing that. Yeah, what do you like think? Like Cream of- and that. They'd be in different hotels and drive to the gig and just play. I know. We were, were with each other. We That's how brothers. we knew each other. And we were, in Germany, you know, we worked very hard. And at one point, Rory and the Hurricanes and the Beatles, we were doing 12 hours a night on the weekend. And That's a lot of playing. And don't you think that's exactly why the Beatles became so great and yeah. sustained that amount of hits and everything? Because yeah. you, it was like a secret language you were almost speaking. You, you become brothers. We do. And, you know, it didn't matter. We're like brothers and we have rows. We have little arguments, discussions. As soon as you heard the counting, we all gave our all. Right. I'm always, always proud of that. I well up because two of our members aren't here. And well, well, speaking it of, was great. Speaking, and a lot of good music. The assassination of John Lennon, which still pains me to this day. And I'm, yeah, a, yeah. I'm a fan. Uh, it was so hard. But, but, you know, your reaction was to immediately drop everything and fly to New York and be with Yoko. Um, yeah. Which I think is such a loving Who thing. Who just said, oh, you play with Sean. Because <laughs> yeah, right. she was messed up too, you know right. what I mean? It was, I didn't, it was like mad. And we were in the Bahamas and uh, Francesca, my stepdaughter, she called and said, something's happened to, to John. Oh, what's happened to John? And mm-hmm. then we heard, and so we got on a plane and we just flew to New York. We didn't know what we could do. We just knew we had to go. Right. It was the right thing to do. Well, it was what we did. And when you got there, the way you comforted her was to take care of Sean. Well, that's what we did in yeah. the end. Right. You know. 